Verizon Cinematize 3 and Cinematize 3 Pro allow you to easily take portions of a DVD, or even the entire DVD, and convert them into formats editable with iMovie. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to do this using Cinematize 3 Pro on a Mac, but it works just the same way under Windows or with Cinematize 3. The first step is to open your DVD with Cinematize Pro. To do this, you can drag the icon of the DVD from your desktop onto the Cinematize Pro window, or you can choose Open DVD from the File menu and select the DVD. Cinematize Pro works equally well with DVD files on an actual disk or DVD files stored in a folder on your hard drive. The next step is to select your clip. To quickly locate what you want, you can easily preview video, audio, and even subtitles together all in perfect sync. Your clip can be as short as a fraction of a second or as long as the entire movie. In this demo, we'll make the start point here and then put the end point here to make a short clip. The Video, Audio, and Subtitle tabs control the selection and decoding for each of these streams on the DVD. On the Video tab, you can pretty much leave the default settings, which are Main Video Stream, Decode Video, Automatic Selection, and DVC Pro 25. On the Audio tab, you select which audio track you want, and then leave the rest of the settings pretty much at the defaults. Decode Audio, 2-Channel Stereo, Normal Dynamic Range, 16 Bits, and 0 dB Volume Gain. If your DVD has subtitles, the Subtitle tab allows you to include subtitles in your clip. You select which subtitle track you want and then leave the remaining settings at the defaults of Decode and Merge Onto Video and STL Timecode Format. In this case, our DVD has no subtitles. The Output tab controls how you want to combine things together for your final output. On the Output tab, you need to choose High Quality Output and then QuickTime. Then click the Options button and make sure to use the default settings. QuickTime Movie Type should be set to Self-Contained with All Data, and QuickTime Playback Aspect should be set to Do Not Include Aspect Flags. Now let's click Add and add this clip to the Batch Extraction List. If you want to convert multiple clips, you can go back to the Segment tab, repeat the process we just went through, and add those clips to the list as well. This lets you extract as many clips as you want at the same time. For now, let's just extract this one clip. Click on Extract Data to start the extraction process. You can save your extraction file anywhere you like. Now let's call this file Crawling Baby 2. This will create a QuickTime movie file with the extension MOV. Cinematize Pro is very fast and can easily convert your clip much faster than real time. Of course, the faster your machine, the faster the extraction speed will be. Now let's bring up iMovie. Here we can choose Import Movies from the File menu and select the movie clip we just created with Cinematize Pro crawlingbaby2.mov. Now you've successfully imported your clip into iMovie. You are all set to edit your project.